Hi and welcome back. Valentine's Day is fast approaching. So let's talk about one of my all time favorite warm and sensual notes to be found in fragrances. And it's amber. And it's interesting because amber is a semi precious stone, but it's actually a resin that comes from trees. And it comes out liquid and then sets over time to become almost like a stone. And it's most famous for capturing insects like mosquitoes from thousands of years ago are caught in amber and they're caught in time. It's like a little sliver of time, a little bit like the way that lava comes down liquid and captures things in time. Well, amber does it, but it's clear and it's amber in colour. And then obviously it goes on to be hardened over time and it becomes a semi-precious tone that you can wear as jewellery. Now, would you expect amber to have a fragrance? No. A resin to have a smell? No, because it's inanimate. But when you micronize it and you release it, it has a warmth. And this is obviously caught in fragrances. And I remember learning about it. Actually, I think at an Estee Lauder launch, one of the fragrances had amber in. I should remember which one now. Anyway, these are slightly more left field amber fragrances. They have different notes to them, but the heart of them is they are all amber and amber gives a warmth and a sensuality to fragrance that isn't overly sexual it isn't overly flashy or flamboyant it's just comforting and sensual let's start with a recent discovery of me oh my god i absolutely love this how did i miss this this is ysl tuxedo now it comes under the Le Vestiaire, which is the collection of perfumes. So it's like the equivalent of Chanel Les Exclusives, which I featured their new Le Lion, the lion on my Instagram feed with a picture of my cat's feet. I think the cat's feet went down almost as well as the fragrance. Anyway, YSL, Yves Saint Laurent, have a collection that's the same. And each one of them is, in is inspired by one of the classic YSL Yves Saint Laurent, I think there's um, this trench coat, this is tuxedo. It's all kinds of fabulous if you have the budget. For a start, it's absolutely beautifully packaged as you would expect. This has, um, it's a Chypre, and so Chypre is a patchouli dry down on fragrances that I really love. And this has violet leaf and bergamot, patchouli, amber, but it also has ozonic notes. And I, ozonic notes are the notes that come off of the seascape when it sort of, when you walk along the sea and you find it bracing and brisk in the air. And it sort of gives you that sort of slight sort of hit of negative ions. It's the ozonic notes that come off and it gives a lift to a fragrance, exactly like you would if you breathed in the, the fresh salted water off of a sort of crashing wave. So this lifts what could be quite a heavy Chypre stroke oriental fragrance, but it lifts it with this ozonic note. So you get something that is so sophisticated, so beautiful. It is literally like the equivalent of wearing, and we all dream about owning this, right? The Tux by Yves Saint Laurent, the classic two-piece that is just so beautiful. They call it Les Smokin at Yves Saint Laurent and it's beautiful. Go away, Google it. We all want to own one of those, right? It's a kind of classic Grace Jones two-piece. This is absolutely stunning. I love it. It's very smoky, very patchouli, very violet leaves, but it has that ozonic and that ber bergamot top note that lifts it. I would say it's unisex, uh, but you know, I've said this before, I'll say this again, all fragrances are essentially unisex. It's just exquisite. Even the violet leaf in it, which is the, the, the floral note, is green. It's all kinds of gorgeous. I love it. And also, did you hear that? <laughs> little magnetic kind of flacon perfume pour note top on it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. They also do a candle, which is all kinds of gorgeous as well. Right, let's look at another amber-based fragrance, slightly more recently, 2019, which a lot of you are gonna like right at the moment. And I tell you why, because it's a classic snuggle winter fragrance, and that is Whispers in the Library by Maison Martin Margiela Replica. And they really don't do a naff fragrance, they really don't. The entire replica collection is based around reliving and reminiscing about favorite memories. So there are 
bubble bath memories and there are walks under lemon grove memories and walks by the beach memories this is whispers in the library why do i love it because it smells like an old book but with a sort of sexy nightclub edge to it it is gorgeous it is an oriental woody it has pepper wood but the woody notes are cedar which means they're cool and they're elegant and vanilla but the vanilla is soft it's more of a warmth a powdery undertow it's not sickly at all it's beautiful it smells like <laughs> do you know what it smells like it smells like if you could i'm going to give away so much about myself now it smells like uh how i imagine the set of don't stand so close to me by the police sounded when i first fell in love with Sting and he had like his mortarboard on and his gown and it's like it's like your teacher telling you off for having a, a sneaky giggle and maybe a cigarette in a library don't take that the wrong way please I don't mean cigarettes as in a horrible smell I mean just that sort of forbidden element of danger and sex appeal that comes with a library just me right okay just me Go out, sniff it, it's incredible. The entire collection of the replica fragrances are beautiful, even if you think that bubble bath won't be yours. Go and smell them. They're elegant, they're sophisticated, they're gorgeous. That is replica whispers in a library. It's beautiful, it's really, really, really nice. I was wearing it yesterday, it's slightly animalic, which I I think is really interesting, but has an elegance to it that a lot of animalic musk fragrances don't. Hello, Yogi. Talking of animalic musks, you're going to come up and join us. Where do I go next? If you combine incense with amber, you get a really beautiful fragrance because you get that cool woody smell of the incense, which I absolutely love, with an amber warm dry down. Now this is an absolute classic. This is Incense Avignon, and it's the series three from Comme de Garçon. This was given to me by a really good friend that sadly has passed now, and I've kept it, and I only wear it on special occasions because I told him I loved the smell of him, and he took it out of his bag and gave it to me. This is absolutely beautiful. Again, limited edition left field fragrances that are absolutely beautiful. This is Amber, with balsamic wood and smoke and it is absolutely beautiful it's been formulated to smell like the catholic church in churches in avignon so literally the incense that they they burn and it smells of old churches but with again it seems so sacrilegious to say this like me saying that you know libraries can be sexy churches can be sexy too it's really really beautiful it's very smoky very incensey and i absolutely love the smell of it sense i mean it smells heavenly it's slightly masculine but i personally love that sort of slightly incense notes and i often burn incense in my house but not the floral incense is the woody ones i really love it so again wood smoke balsamic and amber really beautiful the amber at the top there is quite a it's, like, it's in the heart of it. it's a really big note it's got um touches of patchouli and chamomile as well the chamomile gives it a slight coolness and the patchouli gives it up the heart of it a lot of these fragrances have patchouli and i think it's because although patchouli traditionally has that sort of image of being slightly hippie and patchouli oilish actually it creates a note and a, a classification of fragrances that I really love called Chipra. And basically they're slightly powdery with a sort of sexy dry down to them. That's what patchouli gives. It does have a slightly sort of green woody note to it as well. Uh, let's do one of the ones that I always mention at this time of year. And this you would never think that I would like because this is a rose fragrance, but it's a rose fragrance with a difference. I think if you're going to look at amber fragrances and patchouli fragrances, you need to look at Portrait of a Lady. This is Portrait of a Lady. It was launched in 2010. The fragrance note is amber and warm spice, but it does have rose and clove on the top. I don't like particularly the smell of roses. I don't like particularly the smell of clove. It's the dry down of this I love. It's absolutely beautiful. It has patchouli and incense and sandalwood. It's an ori oriental floral. And the, the nose is a gentleman called Dominic Ropion, but it's actually part of the Frederick Mal collection. It's stunning. A lot of my friends wear it and it's one of those ones that I tend only to wear in winter and I quite often spray it into my coats, let the rose and the, the clove go off and then what you end up with is, is this beautiful, sexy undertow. I've never worn it and not been stopped in the street by somebody saying you smell amazing and nine times out of ten if I smell somebody and they smell incredible and I go up to them and I say what are you wearing, it's portrait of a lady. If you find it too heavy 
and to va va voom because it is pretty va va voom do look at diptyque O capital O capital is a sort of softer version so it has a lot of the heart notes without the rose and the um, clove on the top so look at O capital it's really interesting now talking of diptyque i have included one diptyque fragrance in here and i'm putting it in because a lot of these fragrances are going to be slightly marmitey for a lot of people and i've mentioned this before lou look at fleur de peau look at O capital if you love ambery patchouli fragrances but do look at fleur de peau and the reason i'm saying that is it's not amber but it's amber wood and it's amber grease which is a lighter version amber grease actually is well originally it was whale spit up back in the day that people used to find on the beaches but nowadays obviously it's created with headspace technology because you wouldn't want to take anything derived from whales at all amber wood and amber grease are lighter but they are known by the amber moniker because they have a similar warmth to them but this is much lighter much more traditionally floral and aldehydic it's just much lighter so it's got bergamot incense amber gris and amber wood and leather in it so the leather gives it that sort of warm sexy note but i think the the aldehydic top note mean it's much more sparkling and easier to wear this is a much better much more sophisticated version of glossier you if you love glossier you look at fleur de peau it's like the grown-up older sexier sister and finally i want to introduce you to a fragrance company you might not have heard of and this is bodicea the victorious and this is a uk indie brand it's a british independent brand that has 138 fragrances and i don't think they've been around that that long um, but obviously the nose the collection of noses that work for them are incredibly productive they're given free range to create anything they want you will not be disappointed if you go out and sniff them out they're incredible my favorite one is seductive and here it is look at the flacon absolutely beautiful they all look strikingly similar but they have different um, notifications and stamps on the back and they come in different colorways this is a woody aromatic amber and it's beautiful it's a woody floral musk and it has amber has a huge heart note to it and it also has a lot of woods a lot of resins and a lot of patchouli so you go back to that amber patchouli resin note and then you've got the musk and the sandalwood the sandalwood always gives a fragrance a sort of cool elegance it's beautiful all of these fragrances technically probably with the exception of portrait of a lady because that big hit of rose are unisex but as i always say i don't really think that fragrance has agenda i think all fragrances are neutral who decided that flowers were female and woods were masculine i don't know it's crazy so what i'm saying is if you don't have any of these fragrances go out and google amber fragrances amber is a resin that if you smell a piece of amber jewelry has no smell but if you grind it up and you release it and you add warmth to it it gives off this heat to a fragrance a sensual warm flesh smell which is beautiful clean flesh let me just say that add it to incense and you have something that reminds you of churches add leathers to it and it will remind you of libraries add roses to it and it becomes full-on vava voom sexy add um notes of kind of leather and amber and resin and what you end up with is this elegant beautiful snuggle fragrances they are really gorgeous they're not overly in your face they have this dry down that just smells of comforting skin and it's something that i really really love so go and have a look um the most easy to get i would imagine would be the replica whispers in the library that's one that you're going to find at most department stores but you're going to find things like all of these fragrances online if you if you can if you can bear to go online some of the high-end retailers will send you out samples if you can ever get a sampler tasting of the entire replica range of the tuxedo um the vestiaire collection of any of the comme de garçon series of any of the little frederick mal ones if you can get any of the samplings now bearing in mind you'll buy a box that will probably cost as much as the fragrance but you'll get all of them in there and it allows you to smell things in your own time they also make absolutely brilliant gifts they really do if you're in two minds about what to get anybody if you're watching this and you don't know what to get your partner for valentine's day or you can leave this around lying around as a screen grab go and get the sample collections where you get all of the miniatures and it allows you to go away and try before you buy 
And you, you really do need to wear a fragrance to inhabit a fragrance for 24 hours before you know you can live with it. Sometimes I put on a fragrance and three hours later I think, why have I got a headache? Like, why am I feeling a bit foggy? Sometimes I put on a fragrance and I have loads of energy. You know, fragrances can have that effect on you. Amber is very much about calming, soothing, um, sensuality. It's about a warmth and a snuggle and love and comfort. That's what Amber does in a fragrance. It's a resin that you wouldn't expect to have a smell, but it has a great smell and it's worth sniffing out. Happy Valentine's Day. I haven't spoken. I've spoken about patchouli before. I've talked about iris before. I've talked about leathers before, but I don't think I've ever talked about amber. Amber is definitely a note to look for if you're looking for comfort right now. Comfort and love after all. Happy Valentine's Day. It's next Sunday. I'm putting this up the week before so you get the chance to go out and sniff out some fragrances. Mm -hmm.